Two weeks worth of news in the same amount of time. Oh boy, we'd better get on with it. It's this week in Robot Combat. Three, two, one. We kick off the show with last week's episode of BattleBots, and if you haven't watched it yet, go and watch it, then come back here and do the news properly, because that's what we're going to do. We kicked off the show with a massive fight between Endgame and Ripperoni. And Endgame's world got turned upside down as we all chanted, Pizza, pizza, pizza! Ripperoni, get the win. Flawless. Next up, Switchback had a hard beating from Death Roll. The croc from Down Under came back with a vengeance in this episode. One and one now on the season. Hi Jinx had a fight, if you can call it that, against Captain Shredderator. It wasn't great, but sometimes it do be like that. Give the teams a bit of slack, yeah? Jackpot took on Rotator in a rematch, and the same outcome happened once again. Rotator taking the win over Jackpot, now 1-1 one one as well. Scorpios went 2-0 oh in the season as they fought Big Dill, who was on top for the majority of the fight until they died in a corner, unfortunate for Big Dill. Valkyrie went soaring into the heavens. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Banshee take the win and they also go one and one. And these two robots also went one and one as a rematch for the ages. Tantrum versus Hydra finally putting to bed a long old debate that didn't need having. Tantrum, the outright winners. Then on to this week's episode of BattleBots once again. Spoilers coming your way. Another awesome episode and in my opinion, one of the best fights of all time in this one. We started the night with Gigabyte against Bloodsport who had a cool interesting setup and putting away all the gremlins from their first fight. Bloodsport back on form going one and one. Then Claw Viper took its third name of the season in overhaul claiming I think the crown of the Grabby Bot Nation. Surely Claw Viper 3 and 0. An emotional moment for the Brits as Monsoon finally returned to form, getting a win against Horizon. This was a brutal fight and they go 1-1 one and one as well. Mammoth also going 1-1 one and one, having taken on Starchild and getting the win with sort of shades of their fight against Huge from 2020 in there as well. Copperhead absolutely bodied Triton before getting stuck on one of the batteries that had come out the back of Triton. What a weird fight that was, but Copperhead go 2-0. Lucky took on the new look Kraken. Both robots had some issues going around, but Lucky took the win here, throwing Kraken all over the place. Finally, the match of the season, perhaps even BattleBots in its entirety. Minotaur, Cobalt, an awesome back and forth, but it was Minotaur who eventually got the win after Cobalt got stuck on their back. And hey, we were up until 2, 3 a.m. on Wednesday recording with Anna Zolnikov of Ripperoni, so make sure you check that one out for episode 6. And Sam, Steve and David standing in for me recorded an episode today, at time of recording of course, with Matt Spurk of Kraken talking about episode 7. Be sure to check both out on the Sammy 64 YouTube channel. Now talk about getting in early. Sooth Slayer, a robot who we haven't talked about in a little while on the channel, have applied for Season 8, potentially with a rebrand on the horizon for them. Very interesting news that. Meanwhile, we have a first look at the new Double Jeopardy in action. We saw it a few weeks ago as a photo, but this thing moves fast. Aftershock, or should I say After Chop, is almost ready for the Extreme Robots live scene over here in the UK. The old Series 9 Aftershock is now an axe bot. TR4, the robot that we have teased the CAD of several times on the channel, has begun its construction. Here it is. You can see the framework beginning to go together. Galactus, spinner robot from Roaming Robots, builders of Ripper, of course, and the organizers of Extreme Robots, have been getting this robot ready to get back in action in 2023. Very excited for that. Do like me some Galactus. Blacksmith returned to the arena this week, but it's not the one you were expecting. No, this is a featherweight. It is still built by Al Kindle, but it competed at Motorama Robot Conflict, run by NERC. Very exciting stuff this was this weekend. The winners of the event 
First up, we have Nautilus, the shuffling vertical spinner who took down Beam in the final of the Featherweight Full Combat Division. In the Featherweight Sportsman, it was La Machine who took the win. Always wonderful to see Suplex City in full flinging action. They defeated Ralph in the final. And in the 12 pound division, it was Minor Threat 5 who beat Nightcrawler in the final to take home the win. Well done to all three of those teams and everyone for taking part. Lastly, a little fun story for you from Bournemouth Brick Festival, which today saw some Lego robot combat action. We love to see it. The live Lego scene is so much fun and we are looking forward to returning to Reading Brick Show later this year. Now it's time to take a look at your fan submissions, which you can submit to us via the link below, taking you to the World of Woodrow Discord server. Pony130, a user in the Discord, has given us this sewer scavenger. It's a shuffler horizontal spinner that was made in RR2, looking very, very cool. Next up, friend of the channel, Hyperlash, has shown off some really cool LEGO models of Monsoon. Hypershock and Ripperoni, all looking very, very cool indeed. Loving them. Mr. Underscore Nasty 801 in the server has built this Komodo Dragon in Roblox Studio, looking very, very cool. A Red Devil esque machine, I like that. Another friend of the channel, it's Hoppin, who's done another Ant Wait CAD. The more things change, the more things stay the same. It looks very, very cool. I don't know its name. Hoppin, what's its name? Strang, builder of Grapple Turnover Beetleweight of the UK, has built a new Beetleweight for the UK scene. It looks very, very cool. And remember that Saturday is Treat Day. Finally, we couldn't go without mentioning the awesome new LEGO Ripperoni that will be competing in LEGO Wars Season 4. We're looking forward to that. Thank you very much, David of Smeg. And that's just about all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out the World of Woodrow Facebook page to keep up to date with all of the latest news in the world of robot combat. And we shall see you again next time for more news. Until then, I've been your host, Jevon Woodrow. Goodbye. <laughs>